Today, by request, many requests, by the way, uh, we are going to do um, Mama Let Him Play by Jerry Doucette, a 1977 song. Uh, we are today just going to do the intro lick and the chords, or the, the riff, if you will. And I promise we will do the solo in its entirety um, at some point, um, hopefully pretty soon, but not today. Um, Lots of requests for this one, and if you've never heard it, do yourself a favor and um, and listen to it because it's really amazing song. Great, great guitar work. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to give you is basically what I've seen. I've seen Jerry Doucette do it live, and he plays both harmonized parts. If you listen to the record, there's a harmonized uh, there's harmonized line in there. We're going to do both the parts uh, together. Uh, in this, so that's just how I'm presenting it to you, as if there's only one guitar. If you want to take it apart, you can do that, be my guest, but we're going to do it uh, as if there's one guitar part, okay? So that's coming right up. Hey, as always, if you like it, click the like button, and if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe for one of, the, probably two of these every week. See you in just a second. All right, gang, let's go over this. Uh, pretty close to note for note of what I did. Um, Keep in mind we're doing the solo a little bit later and this has been adapted for one guitar. So one guitar is playing both the parts. Uh, I've seen Doucette do it live and that's what I think he's doing as well. He's playing both parts on one guitar doing this. Um, all right, so we're just going to focus on the, the intro and the chords or the intro and the riffs. Oh, first things I, I should say is you can download the tab from the link in the description below. Definitely going to make your life easier on this one. Okay, so the let's start out with the uh, with this line. All right. So that one starts out. Uh, the first one's over an A chord. Da 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 da. D D A. So that's an A A. Da 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 da. Then D D and back to the A. All right. So over that A where it's going da 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 da, here's what we're going to play. We're going to play um, all dyads. So you think about playing an A major chord, an A major triad here, up at the uh, in the fifth position, right? So on the four, three, and two strings, I've got seven, six, and five. Now I'm just going to play um, two notes at a time. That makes a dyad, right? That makes two notes. And I'm going to start with seven on the four and three strings with seven and six. So let's first do this. Okay, so for that, I'm playing on the four and three strings, I'm playing seven and six, respectively. respectively. Then I'm playing on the second, I'm sorry, on the third and second strings, I'm playing four and three, frets four and three. Sliding that two and playing six and five. So I've got this. And now I'm going to play back my original dyad on the seven and six on the four and three strings. Alright, so that's how that sound or that's how that is. Okay, now I'm going to come down. I'm going to play seven seven on the second and third. And I'm going to play the note the ones that I already know. Six and five. Four and three. Uh, on the four and three strings, I play seven and six. 
and then my slide up. Okay? So here's the whole thing. That's the first part. Then I hit the... Okay. The second part goes like this. far so same. So it's basically the same except at the end we play two different chords. We play a G and a D. Okay so we play the G which is uh, on four, three, and two strings we've got five, four, and three. And basically, I'm playing it inverted. So I'm playing the fourth string and then two and three. And then I'm playing my D chord here, which is um, on the fourth string, fourth fret, third string, second fret, uh, second string, third fret. Okay, here's one more time slowly, the whole thing. back to the beginning. Okay? Now what is tricky about this is there's no hesitation. It, <clears throat> you start with the riff right away exactly as it was in the beginning. There's a tendency to want to give one extra beat in there and that's not right. If you listen to the song, it's right away. It's, it's sort of like this. It's like... It doesn't, there's no hesitation. It's like bam, it's like bam, 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 ba da 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 right away. All right? So you play that whole thing twice, and after you play that whole intro, you're going into basically a standard rock boogie um, in, um, well, A is the featured chord, but really it's in, it's in D major, but A is the four chord, so it starts on the four. <laughs> Right, so that is simply uh, that first part, very standard rock boogie, right? We're playing the uh, uh, the open A, and then on this on the four on the fifth string, and then we're playing on the fourth string two and four. Then we're playing the G, which is on the sixth string three, and on the fifth string five, and extending our pinky down up to the seventh. Right, that's a G note. Then we're going to the D. You'll notice that on the fifth string, fifth fret, that's a D. So we're playing on the fifth string five, on the fourth string seven, extending to nine. Then back to our A boogie. Now what I'm doing here, I saw him do this live as well, which is kind of cool, is um, just a little syncopated G I'm playing there on the 6th string 3rd third, third fret. It's kind of a cool uh, sound. Alright, so we do that twice, that whole thing twice. And then after, after we do it the second time, we play, uh, we play this. Okay, so that's just <clears throat> basically very simple. It's G to D, back to A. One, two times, and on the third time, instead of going back to A, you go to F sharp. Again, we're just playing the bottom two strings on this, so you don't want to play a whole F sharp. That's not right. You just want to play the bottom two strings. All right. So that's it 
for the chords and the riff. Well, there you have it, folks. The intro and the, uh, the riff to Jerry Doucette's Mama Let Him Play. We will do the, the solo in its entirety uh, coming up in a future lesson. Promise. Until, well, until next time. Maybe not until then, but until next time. We'll see you on down the road.